Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. And that's what they're emphasizing through this enforcement team with both police and fire departments right here in Avondale. They're going to have higher numbers of people out patrolling the neighborhoods just to make sure that people understand the rules that are in place and that everyone can have fun safely. So we're bringing back Sergeant Rios here, who has been talking with us about, you know, this enforcement team. And for folks that are just maybe waking up, just now tuning into Good Morning Arizona, mm -hmm. remind us again what this enforcement team is and what their goals are. Absolutely. So this 4th of July weekend, uh, beginning in the afternoon to the evening time. Avondale police can have a contingent of six officers to include a sergeant patrolling the city, uh, focusing only on fireworks related calls. We do have a zero tolerance enforcement going on, meaning if we do come across community members that are launching illegal fireworks, um, they will receive a civil citation with a penalty of up to a thousand dollar fine. And so one thing I want to emphasize to folks is like, yes, there are illegal fireworks, but there are some things that you can use on the 4th of July. Can you list those off for us? Absolutely. So the ones that are, are legal are the ones that you're going to find at your Sam's Club, your Walmarts, or at the many uh, tents that you see throughout the valley. Uh, those fireworks have been deemed uh, safe. They're permissible. So we want folks to use those fireworks and to stay away from the commercial mortar-based ones. Yeah, for sure. So those sometimes include, you know, sparklers, smoke devices, party poppers, that sort of thing. But then, of course, there's the list Absolutely. of illegal fireworks. We actually saw one go off this morning. We so sure can you uh, list those off as well? Yeah, so Roman candles, uh, bottle rockets, and your commercial-type fireworks that we do see prevalent uh, during these times of the year. Those are the impermissible ones. Um, and if we do find people using those, they will get the, the fine. Yeah, for sure. And then so that fine is part of the consequence That's through correct. the zero tolerance policy. Walk us through the procedure. If someone gets caught using or just improperly using fireworks in general, what happens? Absolutely. So the uh, city of Avondale has a city code. It's 1045. Um, and that city code, uh, basically, it's a guideline of, of which fireworks you can use and cannot use. So if a community member is found in possession of a prohibited firework, they will be uh, cited under that uh, particular city code, uh, which does carry a $1,000 fine, up to a $1,000 fine. Um, if our officers do see somebody using a firework in such manner, we will issue them a citation, and they will have a court date within 30 days here at the Avondale City Court. We'll see a judge for that matter. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for joining us You're this welcome. morning. So you can see that they're really cracking down on this to make sure everyone stays safe. They have reported that they've just received a flood of calls in previous years of illegal firework use or just improperly using them. So they're really honing in on this, not just because to, you know, keep structures and everything safe, but, you know, our personal well-being. And so we're going to bring back to the fire department at 730 to talk about those dangers specifically, especially since we are under these first alert weather days. It's going to be hot today. It's going to be really Really hot tomorrow so we're going to talk about you know exactly what you can and can't do in that aspect coming up on good morning arizona but for now back to you guys all right elena some important important reminders for